Hello and welcome to ALW Collectibles. I am ALW and today we're going to be taking a look at Beast Wars Optimus Primal Gorilla Style. And the reason I have all of these here, uh, these are all of the Optimus Primals that I have that share the exact same mold. There's no modifications or deviations, just colors. So we're going to give a quick introduction for each one. This was considered an ultra class for the Transformers Beast Wars toy franchise. And with each one, you got the bio card, four missiles, two swords, and one mace. And we will show you each one of them. So to begin with, we have the original. This one right here it was released in 1996 through 1998. And when they first came out, it was a Hasbro in Japan with Takara. It was released as in a gold, green, I mean gold, blue, in red color scheme, not this red, but an actual solid red, as inter internet exclusive offers only. Next in line comes Clear Convoy, is what he's called. His official name is Clear Convoy, Special Convoy Skeleton Type. He was released in 1998, followed by the translucent Clear Red Burning Convoy. The Universe Infected Optimus Primal, released in 2003, and Vintage Walmart Exclusive 2021 Optimus Primal. So let's start with the original. We'll take a quick look at that. Nice head sculpt on that. This was the chest plating right here. You can see the gorilla's ears. These switches on the back I'm on back on the bicep and the arm. I'll show you later what those do. That's part of it. Nice detailing in here. Looks like fur. Same thing down here, all throughout the arm. Legs. Bottom of the feet, hollow. Overall, I really, really do dig this figure. I like how the red design in here. I love how they actually incorporated a lot of gimmicks in this one. Gorilla's butt. Now I'm only going to do articulation on one of these because they all have the exact same articulation. First thing you can do, shoulder can come all the way around. Can come up, can come down. It does turn at the elbow or bicep, but that's part of the gimmick, and I'll show you that in a second. Elbow does bend up, down. The head does turn 360. It's kind of tough with the battle mask there. You gotta move the battle mask with it. And my hand's in the way. So let's try that again. Give me one second. Optimus Primal's having Next central crisis today. Let's try that again so you can see what I'm doing. Again, you got to move this battle mask, and I will explain that in a second. You can see there's the face again. Right in the front. So while we have this out, this is the battle mask. A lot of the Beast Wars original toys came with different faces. So to use this, you take the battle mask. It's on a separate hinge. The head does go up and down. You turn his head backwards, drop the top spikes off his head, pull the mask forward, and these become like little fangs. And just to bring him back up, push the battle mask to the back of his head and turn it. And the head does go up and down. He does have hip rotation. Legs can go out that far. Come back, not that far because of these are in the way, but these will be moved. Nice big boot in the face if you want. Have these guys wrestle each other. Very deep, neat bend. And he does have a little bit of ankle tiltage on both pieces. This one's kind of stiff because mine has been sitting on the shelf for years. There we go. 
Now, as I was saying, these little black pieces are part of one of the gimmicks. So the first gimmick, there's a trigger on his back. You're gonna take this trigger out, lock it into place, and so now it's straight in the back. And I'll do it from the back and then I'll move it to the front you can see it. There's that. And so when you see it from the front, he does this. If you take the switch and clip it up on both sides. I'm bring his arms out a little bit for this one. And to put it away, you just disengage it, lay it back down. What are the weapons you get with them? And I'm keeping all the weapons on these because these tend to disappear on me sometimes. And as you flip this plate up on his forearm, there's a mace right here. Close that back up. And Optimus is leaning back. Now, when I was younger, I did paint this in because for some reason I didn't like all the gray. This actually comes in an all gray color scheme. And to take the mace out, you just undo this like that. And that'll actually fit in his hand. And with that gimmick, he'll throw his mace around. One of the other gimmicks you can have is tilt his head forward. There are two missiles behind his head for storage. There's two blue missiles. And on this arm here, there is a tab right there. You open that, the fist is going to come down, and it's going to really reveal the rocket launcher. And these will fit right in here to give him a gun. And I'm going to take these out because with mine, it has a tendency to fire off. And to put this away, fold this piece in. Do it from the side. You bring the arm up and clip it all back together. Now the next part, the next gimmick on him, is this little gray button on his back. Those release two more missile launchers. And like I said, it gives you a little more articulation on him because now his leg can come all the way back. And not only does it do that, it exposes his swords. And I took a while for these swords to grow on me because of the way they're designed, but they do look nice. Do that. And one of the commercials for the toy actually showed them like this. And then you do the gimmick and these fly around and this flies everywhere. Put these back. Before I transform any of these, I will show you what each one of them look like. So there was the original. And I said, I'm not going to do articulation for all of them. This one's a little hard to see. He's actually completely transparent. And you can see there's silver in the arm and black components all over him. Silver on the fists. Black point, black on the knees, and everything else is clear plastic. There's silver on the face. These are done in black. His neck piece is done in black. All his weapons are done in black. And this was a Japanese exclusive. And it took me a lot of tracking this one down. But I actually got it, and I was amazed when I was able to get it. <laughs> And the other exclusive 
was this guy burning convoy. Now I do apologize right away. Mine is like ultimately super loose. This is the way I got them. Now I do like him. His weapons are done in like a bluish gray. All of his weapons are in a bluish gray. So he's got like a copper and silver face with red eyes. He's got gold, gold there. Nothing on the legs except a little bit of like burning points for the gimmick, which will show up better when he's in his gorilla mode. And again, these all have the exact same gimmick. And the next one is the Universe Infected one. This is part of the Universe line from 2003. And the color scheme on this thing, it took me a long time to get used to. I'm still not used to it. His weapons are all done in the yellow. Spend all day trying to hold that. His battle mask is done in two colors. It's black with yellow on the inside, yellow on the back of Optimus's head. He's got like a reddish burgundy head, silver, blue for the eyes. Kind of like a greenish color. It is green, but it's like an off green. He's got all the molding detail. Now this one does have an Autobot symbol buried right here on his shoulder on the right shoulder red black fists yellow green that burgundyish color it's got a silver stripe with red highlights all the way around it and then the walmart exclusive i did not open this one this is actually how the original one came packaged in the box just like this too. The only difference is it was a little what a little cut out in the side, you could see the weapons. So this is the Walmart one from 2021. I just realized you're getting one heck of a glare off that. There we go. And for the original one, I have the bio card for the original. And just like the previous ones I did with the bat, it gives you a stats where his weapons are located and a quick bio on who he is. Um, the stats for Optimus Primal are strength of 10, intelligence of 10, speed of 10, endurance of 10, rank of 10, courage is a 10, firepower is a 10, skill is a 10, his secret weapons locations, right forearm, mace whip, dual attack, spinning swords. Uh, he's a maximal, optimus primal, function, maximal general. He does come with instructions. Uh, good luck finding them. Like I said, I've had these since I first got them almost 20 years ago. I have no idea where they are. So what I'm going to do is transform one, nice and slow, and then I'll do them all so you can comp see them all in robot, uh, gorilla mode. So we're going to take the original here. We're going to put away his weapons. And again, to store his weapons, on each sword, there's a little peg. There's a little notch right there. And if it doesn't drop on me, we'll do this. Put one on one side, one on the other. And these little gray pieces right there are going to hold from this, side. this in place. We just had one fall over. Like I said, he is so loose. I don't know why. It's just how I got him. Now, for my mace, what I do with mine, I don't know how everybody else does it. I spin it around the handle as I twist it into the, the head of the mace so that it fits right in. The way this fits in is there's a big spike on the back. There's a hole 
right here in the middle of the hand or the forearm. That goes there and all of this will line up. And of course mine doesn't want to do it. And the sides of the mace will fit in those two little holes and that'll just clip over it. Same thing with Primal, like I said, all of them had battle masks. I'll show you his again, because this should be done for transformation anyway. Spin the head all the way around, bring that up, bring these two up. The reason you should do it when you transform it is it'll fit in a lot cleaner. With the way the gapping is, just push his head straight back. This whole chest plate from the bottom, push up. You're gonna push in. Once it's cleared, flip it out to reveal the gorilla's face and clip it up. Next, you're gonna take these pieces here on the shoulders, push it down. There's a peg behind each arm and there's a hole. That's just gonna clip over that. Bring his arm up and I twist him in. Bring his arm up and I twist it in. Next, you're gonna take his legs and hips, rotate them, turn them around. You're gonna take these pieces, push them up. This is where I was having trouble earlier, so let's see what happens. These are gonna flip from three toes to his five toes. So you can see the differences right now. One's done, one's not. This is where this deep bend is going to come in. You're going to push, and then you're going to push this straight back into the into his butt. Push, push back. And you're just going to set them up how you want them. And we'll take a look at him now. Here's the gorilla face. Looks really upset. Someone took away his bananas today. His ears. They did a lot of detailing to make it look like a lot of fur on him. And I, I was very appreciative of that. Because I think it really makes this figure pop. The chest and the abdomen. Goes into the legs. There's the arms. The back. And you can still deploy the weapons. And you probably just saw my head, but it happens. In this mode. And you can take, stand them up. Open this. Flip the little switch down. Do the same thing over here. Open this. Flip your little switch down. And he can do the King Kong. <laughs> that. Here's the original Optimus Primal. So I'll do the other ones. So you can take a oh, look at them as well. Again. Turn the head. Bring these points of the crown down. Battle mask. Bring up. Rotate. Flip in. And mine. There we go. This is the exoskeleton one. Which, for some reason, these ones were actually a lot looser. And I've never modified any of these, except for that one paint job piece. So let's take a quick look at this one. Again, completely translucent. You can see where his weapons are in there. He's got white mouth with red eyes. He's got silver on the abdomen, silver on his fists, a little bit of silver on his legs. He's got black ears. And for some reason, he's not clipping in. But Next comes Burning Convoy. 
Same thing we're gonna do, turn the head around, bring this down, flip the battle mask open, set up the battle mask, bring this up, flip this head over. Fold up one arm, fold up the other arm, bring his arms out, rotate them, flip his feet, push these in, and fold up his legs. This is, that entire piece just came, there we go, burning convoy. And you can see he's translucent red. He's got white eyes. Teeth. He's got like a fire design burn on his chest. Burning fists with the gold. That's what that's supposed to represent. Same thing on his thighs. said he is loose so he doesn't like to stand and last one is the universe prime and again same routine rotate the head flip these parts down put it back like that flip the head up one thing i'm going to be cautious and tell you about is like two of them did this already when you bring this up these rock on the ear pin hinges and the ears will pop loose you just push it back on Rotate this to make the face. Clip it in. Close one arm. Close the other arm. Bring the arm out. Bring the arm out. Rotate the hips. Flip the foot. Flip the foot. Close. Close. Bring it up. Bring it up. And that's it. And this is supposed to be the Infected Prime. It's a whole story. You'd have to read the Universe comic and stuff to understand why. It's a lot of detail. I'm just not going to go into it right now. Maybe at another day I will. Again, now he's got the red and silver going off his face. Yellow eyes. He's got like a flesh color there. He does have scraping from being transformed a few times. White teeth. He's got black eye. Ear. Red forearms, again, nice detailing. On some of these, the original and this one, you can really see the detail work on it. And it looks layered like fur, so came out really, really good. Goes all the way up the back. My only complaint on all of them, I wish they could have covered this up a little bit better, but it is what it is for the day. That's the Optimus Primals. I do not open these, the Walmart exclusives. I have not opened any one of them yet, and I have no intentions of doing so. So this is ALW saying thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you're having a good day. Come by next time. My next video might be a little bit delayed. I'm working on a special video. So we'll see what happens with that. Thank you very much. I hope you're having a good one. Enjoy.